Latin. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh lad. International flips. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Princess, if you didn't already know, and you are now in the princess lifestyle. How are you guys doing? I hope all is well with everyone. By now, you already know what this video is about to be about. I am happy to come here to you all with good news. I am happy to be working with Lancome on a few special things that I will talk about either later in this video or in a future video. As soon as things are confirmed, I will be able to talk about it. But for now, I'm able to show you guys all of the goodies that Lancome sent to me. First of all, let me say a huge thank you to Lancome and the specific people that I am working with at Lancome. I am so grateful to have um, been able to have caught the eye of such a huge company. Everybody who is anybody knows what Lancome is. Everyone knows Lancome, okay? Well, ever since I've been a little girl, my mother, she's worn makeup, you know, she tried to get me into makeup when I was little, but when I was a little girl, I was a little boy, okay? <laughs> I was skateboarding with my brother, I was rollerblading, I was scuffing up my knees, I was doing all of that. But by the time I was like, I think I realized I was a girl when I was like 12, maybe 13. 13 would be ninth grade. No, I knew I was a girl before then. I realized I stopped being a boy when I was in, I think, seventh grade. I think that's where, like, I wrapped being a boy up. And my brother was mad, but, I mean, I had to go, okay? Because I need to get my hair done. So, my mom tried to get me into it. She was the first everything for me as far as makeup went. So, Lancome has been in my family for years. And for me to be able to have been noticed by such a huge company that is a, a staple in the makeup industry is really amazing and I'm humbled and grateful and I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I'm very happy and I'm very grateful to be able to be working with Lancome, so thank you. So before we get into the makeup and looking at everything that I was sent, can we just take a second to acknowledge my mug? Okay, my mug is Santa Claus. I just wanted to show you guys, got him at Marshall's. Did not have any black Santas. But, you know, I love Santa either way. And I'm gonna be drinking my hot toddy from it this evening. Okay, so this box is heavy, but I'm gonna try to pick it up to show you guys the magnitude of everything that Lancome sent me. I love okay, I can't, I cannot fit the box. I just, I can't fit it in the camera and I can't pick it up. You guys know that I had surgery on my left shoulder, so I can't, uh, I can't lift it. This whole thing, uh, it's a lot, clearly. So I'm going to try to go through everything, but I don't want this video to be too long. I, I've sort of like organized, <laughs> I've organized what I could in front of me. And we're gonna go through it just like that. Start with eyeshadows. I picked out six of them. So here's one. This is called Partner in Crime. The packaging is really nice. I think you, oh. This is how the packaging goes, you guys can see. You just slide this plastic piece down and the shadow comes out like that. That's pretty cool. Very, very pigmented. Literally, I just I just did this and then, and that color is partner in crime. It's like a, um, like a vintage gold type of color. The next shade I got is Cuiver. <laughs> I don't speak French. It's a really pretty color. It looks sort of like a shimmery rose gold. Oh, that is so beautiful. Can you guys see that? It's like a mix of brown that has like pink reflex in it. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Gosh, these shadows are so pigmented. Oh my goodness gracious. 
I hope you guys can see that. This next shade is called All That Glitters. Pigmentation. Like, this is so freaking gorgeous. I need to make space. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Do you see that? I'm going to wear this one tomorrow. It's like green, but then it has like every color of glitter you can imagine inside it. That is stunning. Oh my goodness. Lancome, baby, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Let's do one more shadow because there are like a lot here. <laughs> this last one is called Pose. I actually remember saying, oh my gosh, I have to have this shadow. It took me to like um, an area where they had a lot of their products, like all of their products, and I was just like, okay. I wanna try this one and that one and this one and that one. Blah, 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 blah. It was just, it was really surreal. I mean, I was just saying that I liked them. I didn't know that all of this was gonna happen. That like literally every single thing that I said, yeah, I like that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wanna try that. I didn't know that, like, I didn't know I was gonna be getting that. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. So, again, thank you, Lanco. I'm hella grateful. <laughs> Let me get some. Oh my gosh. Wait till y'all see it. I need to do a praise dance. Oh, oh my gosh. I cannot. Gone comb. I see you. I see you, baby. So these are the three blushes that I received. They are called Blush Subtil or Blush Subtil. I don't know, you know, everything is like French and really expensive and fancy. It says naturally glowing cheeks all day wear. So let's pop one of these bad boys open. I remember when I first started makeup, I did not go anywhere near blush because all of the girls in my high school Seeing them wear blush, I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm not trying to be out here looking like a clown. This color is absolutely stunning. So this is how it comes packaged. It comes with a, it comes with a, this little brush is for your cheeks. It's called Midnight Rose. This is such a beautiful shade for like this season, the fall season the winter holiday type season. You know, it's all about like very colors, you know, very warm, fragrant looking colors. I know that's weird because that fragrant is smelling, but you guys know what I mean, like we're here. Colors that look like they smell good. This looks like it smells amazing. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I love how natural it looks. Like, I'm not being, shy with the amount of product I'm using and it is looking like literally what it says on the box it says um naturally glowing cheeks and that's really what I'm getting right now I'm getting naturally glowing cheeks it's like you're putting it on and it's there but it looks like it's coming from within this is a very bold color it looks scary but the fact that this is like so natural it's like no matter how much you put on, it's always going to look good on you. I I love it. I really do. The next blush is Rum Raisin. So this isn't one of their regular blushes. This is what they call their Blush Subtle Palette. And it says Space Sculpting and Illuminating All-in-One Contour Blush and Highlighter. This is the contour. This is obviously not a contour for princess. As you know, Princess is very chocolatey. But I would love to use this as a transition shade. This is the blush in the middle, and this is the highlighter. This would be such a pretty inner corner highlight. Yes. So this is another one of their blush satools. Um, this is called Petite Pomegranate. Oh, I keep dropping this freaking brush. It's more of a more mauve color than the um, Midnight Rose. This is Petite Pomegranate. So that's it for the blushes. They gave me another Genifique. This is one of my favorite Lancome products ever. 
it's for my skin I use it every single day it's a youth activating serum it firms your skin it tightens it and it really brings back the radiance and youthfulness into your skin during this period of the year this type of weather I get very dry skin and I'll still be oily in my t-zone but I'll actually get dry patches I actually had two here and I wasn't using the Genifique for like I think only two weeks and I got dry patches already so once I got back on my Genifique regimen I was good it has a self-activating dropper which is really good because you don't get more than you need honestly a little goes a long way I use it all over my face and neck so I'm wearing this all day throughout the day I put this on right before my makeup this is actually what I use as a primer sometimes also if I wanted to thin out a foundation I use this so Honestly, it's a staple. It's a little pricey, but I promise you it's worth it. This one bottle of Genifique will last you a very long time. So don't worry about the price. It is worth it and it will last you probably about a year. Okay, so next up, I specially requested this. I really wanted to try Lancome's primer. So this is their, let me make sure I get the name right, La Base Pro Perfecting Makeup Primer, Smoothing Effect oil-free which is perfect for oily girls like me so it looks sort of like um a gel oh my gosh it's so it's so smooth and it it oh wow it absorbs into your skin almost immediately that is really amazing it just absorbed like it was nothing and my skin doesn't feel sticky nothing like that very 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 soft so this is their new mascara it's called monsieur big Ooh. only a few mascaras passed my test this is looking really good look at the the comparison between the eyes that was one coat it wasn't even like a full coat of mascara the difference <laughs> Wow, okay, I'm looking in my mirror and I am getting my entire life. My bottom lashes, like, they're, they're always asleep. They're never ready. I literally just woke them up from hibernation. This mascara is definitely a necessity at this point. So next up is the Genifique Grandiose Liner. It's their high precision long wear intense matte finish liner. I have tried this out already. This is what the liner looks like. Packaging like packaging so fresh. Okay, so when Peggy was doing it, she, oh, did everyone see that? So like this applicator bends to make application much easier. Yeah, I like it. The tip holds so much, um, so much color, like so much of the product that you never need to dip back in. This, I just did both eyes without, without having to go back for more products. Doing liner is nearly impossible, but this, this, this grandiose liner really just changed the game. Lancome, you're on to something. Can we just get into these lipsticks? First of all, let me tell you the name. L'Absolu Rouge Hydrating Shaping Lip Color. So this shade that I have right here is 189 Isabella. Love this lip color. Blue reds are beautiful on chocolate skin. So gorgeous. And it's matte. It's matte, but it's hydrating. This one is called Berry Noir. It's number 397. This is more, it's more of a berry me type of red. So this shade is called Beige Mirage. You guys know I'm a sucker for nudes, especially nudes that most people would say, oh, that would never work on dark skin. Y'all already know. I don't play those games. Everything works on dark skin. It's like creamy. It's a cream. It's not matte. But what I love about it is if you put on enough, it looks like a gloss. You guys know I am a sucker for a foundation stick. So I'm going to give you guys swatches of the colors that I chose for my foundation. 
my highlight and my contour. So these foundation sticks say that they are all day color, wear and comfort, portable perfection and have a soft matte finish for all skin types. This is shade 555 Suede C. That's 555 Suede C. You can see it's like, I'd say one and a half to two shades darker than me. It's not too dark, but dark enough. <laughs> So I would use that shade for a contour. I'd probably reverse highlight underneath just to make the contour pop some more. This is shade 510 Suede C. This I would mix with this so that I can have my perfect foundation shade. I would use more of this though for sure. You guys will see. As a matter of fact, I would love to do a tutorial for you guys. If you have a specific tutorial you wanna see, with these foundations, let me know in the comments section. So this is shade 450 Suede N. This would absolutely be a highlight. That is so pretty. And these are so creamy. When I say full coverage, a little bit is gonna go a very, very long way with these. I can tell just from the swatches, like, they're so super gorgeous. Those are the Tanti Doll makeup sticks, foundation sticks, if you will. Those are the three shades that I got. I'm gonna be using them in the next video. A lot of you guys have been requesting, highly requesting, for me to make a beginner's makeup tutorial. Highlight, foundation, contour, snatch, but the easy way type of video. So that is exactly what I'm going to do for you guys. Last but not least for foundation, I got another Tanti Doll Ultra Wear 24 Hour Resistant Foundation. Got the shade 540, which is 100% my shade, but I get 540 Warm. We are all familiar with Lancome's Tanti Doll series. I love everything Tanti Doll. <laughs> I need a shirt that says Tanti Doll. It looks kind of light in the packaging, but I promise you, it's my shade. And when I say that this is 24 hour wear, honey, honey, it is 24 hour. I can push it to 48. Okay, well, okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's 24 hour wear for sure. I put one drop of it right there out my knuckle. Ooh, you know what? I would love to mix the stick and the liquid together and see what happens. Yeah, we're doing that right now. Ooh, so fun. So I just mixed the Tanti Doll 540 Suede Warm and all three of those foundation sticks, the Tanti Doll foundation sticks, and this is the shade that I got. It is almost like a perfect match. <laughs> How is this already like matte on my hand? This is amazing. Cannot wait to try out these foundations. So the last bit of makeup I'm gonna show you, honestly, okay, I'm gonna show you two more bits of makeup and then I'm done as far as makeup goes because there is a lot of skincare to get into. So I'm gonna show you guys the dual finish highlighters. This. These two products, okay, you guys know Lancome is just, it's amazing. It's like some of the best makeup you can get your hands on, period. Ah! That was a sneeze. So I did not know about these highlighters. I don't remember if they're new or not, but these are their dual finish highlighters. You guys know that they have their dual finish powder. A while now, they're amazing. They smell so good. So these highlighters, are called dual finish highlighters and I swatched it in store. Let me let me just I'm gonna show you. All their dual finish products come with you know a makeup spongy sponge. Here is the dual finish powder in the shade shimmering buff. You want to swatch? It's so creamy. Like it's just as creamy as the dual finish powders if not more. So freaking gorgeous. Honestly, from what I can see in the viewfinder, the camera is doing this no justice whatsoever. Hmm. The color that that just added, and I 
barely dip my brush into it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Lancome, really? Oh gosh, that is so beautiful. Oof, ooh. I know your souls, like I know you're looking at me on your computer screen, your phone, whatever you're watching from, and you're like, Princess just made me spend more money. I cannot stand her. I'm so sick of Princess because all she makes me do is spend money. And you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I have to bring you guys the best of the best. I have new favorite highlighters. That is... I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder like, who is that? Who is she? Okay, so the next one we have is Luminous Gold. This is the one that I swatched for you guys on Snapchat and you guys were going bananas over. <laughs> so this is Luminous Gold. Oh my, oh my gosh. Uh, can we just have a moment of silence for the vision of anybody and everybody who's finna come in contact with me for the rest of my life. You're not gonna be able to see anything once I put these on. Luminous gold, shimmering buff, like I can't even choose between the two. I would put some luminous gold on too, but aren't I blinding people enough at this point? Oh my gosh, I'm still like in awe. I also got some more of their dual finish powders and this is the shade 560 Suede Cool. I got this for contouring. It's such a gorgeous shade. You guys are going to see me use it. I also got the shade 470 Suede C and I got this for my under eye highlight. So this is 470 Suede C. The last makeup product is this Absolute Powder. You guys know I am a big fan of using shimmering powders on the under eye. And this Absolute Powder is just, first of all, the packaging. And the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Brilliant smoothing powder. After you're done baking or just setting regularly, if that's what you do, you would take a light powder brush, dust off the excess, and just blend out underneath your eye. And when I tell you, your whole face will be so luminous afterwards. You guys know I live for a good under eye glow with powder. It's just, it's so good to me. It really sets off the look. And the powder is super fine, so it blends out like it's nothing. Don't you guys worry, I will definitely be using this powder in a future video. So now we're gonna finish this um, unboxing with items from the Lextray family. The Ultimate Beautified Lotion. This is the packaging that it came in. Lancome is just such a beast with packaging, my goodness. So it opens up like this. Oh, the packaging. So it opens up like that. It comes with this, um, this book. I guess this little book is gonna tell us how we use this product. So this is the Ultimate Beautifying Lotion. It prepares your skin to reveal a rosy glow. So this is like a finishing spray, but it's like finishing spray to the max. Thank you so much, Lancome. Like I can't, I, I, I don't even know how much this is. So it can be used before makeup, after makeup, um, to refresh your makeup, and basically just for anything. Oh, it feels like, like a waterfall, like, And it sprays out so lightly, like it sprays out evenly, like it sprays like this. Not just like, you know what I mean? Like those weird big chunky sprays. It sprays evenly to where it gets on an entire area of your face as opposed to just one that will like mess up your makeup. That felt so good. I'm definitely gonna be utilizing this 100 thousand percent so that was the skin refresher now we have the ultimate rejuvenating concentrated elixir let's see 
So this is what the packaging looks like. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at the packaging, watch. So this is what it looks like and then it's like, <laughs> it's like an armoire, like a chest, a closet. Okay, so this is the product in here and it actually comes with this tool also. Pulling the whole thing out. You pull one of the tabs. Yeah, you pull this little tab and I swear Lancome and their luxurious packaging, like I'm in love. Okay, so this also has rose native cells in it and this is to re visibly restore the skin. This is the tool it comes with and they call this tool a petal because you know the theme of all of this, the Absolute Lextre line is roses. I feel like the theme of Lancome is very flowery and rosy and just smell good things if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys can see this but it's like she's using this to go upwards on her face. Short intense and semi-circle upward strokes from the jawline up to the temples over the visible lines of the forehead and the wrinkles around the mouth. So what we're gonna have to do is do an entire skincare routine with Lancome on here. I did a mini skincare routine with some of um, the products that I had gotten at my meeting, like some of the oil, some of the eye creams and things like that. But I never, I haven't done like a full fledged serious routine. And I think I'm gonna have to because the amount of like detail that goes into Lancome's products, I think it warrants like its individual <laughs> skincare routine. So we're gonna do that. Let me know if you guys want that because Lancome products have been a staple in my skincare routine for several years now. Okay, this is says, oh, it just says absolute leg straight on it. It doesn't say anything specific. So regenerating ultimate elixir. Oh, it, this comes with a tool also, the same petal. Let's save this for the tutorial. Ultimate Rejuvenating Eye Contour Collection. I think I know what this is. Ooh, Ultimate Eye Patch. So it has eye patches in it, and it has um, the eye balm, and it has that petal. Okay, you guys, Lancome has won my heart. Ultimate Rose Serum Mask. Okay, so I was talking to my contact at Lancome about this she actually introduced me to it i had no idea i was like so does lancome have any masks you guys know that i live for a good mask and masks are fully a part of my skincare routine and she was like do we <laughs> and she started telling me about this rose mask it's called the ultimate rose serum mask oh wow here it is Wow, this looks like caviar. It has the petal. Can you guys see that? It has a bowl. It has like a spoon. <laughs> and then it has the actual rose product. It, it's, it's squishy. So they're rose pearls. Let me look at the, you know, their instruction manual that they keep with everything. Okay, <laughs> I have to show you guys what just happened. So, oh my gosh, I cannot. So, you know, I always pull this tab and when I pull it, it has the directions and everything in it, right? Right, watch. And there's like 50 little product things. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's even more product in here, like in this area. I don't know, I think it's like 20 or 30. Okay, so this is the mask, the ultimate mask. So it's gonna be like a really like real cooking session that I'm gonna be doing. I have a bowl, I have a spoon. It says ultimate serum base. Okay, so this is the mask that you mix with these um, rose pearls that I showed you earlier. Get a spoonful of the rose pearls and you put it in this little bowl that they provide and then you and then you squeeze this out and you mix it up and then you spread it all over your face. 
Okay, you guys, that's the last thing that I'm going to show you guys. I showed you guys all of the skincare because you guys know that skincare is most important for me because, you know, you cannot have a flawless face without flawless skin. So skincare will always be number one in my book. Ultimate Rose Serum Mask was the last bit of skincare that I'm going to show you guys. The rest of my skincare is upstairs and I cannot bear to go up there and get it. I just want to say again a huge enormous thank you to Lancome. I, I really am blown away by, I, okay, so when I got the box, it was, it's a big box obviously, but I didn't realize the magnitude of everything that you guys sent me and I am floored. Thank you so much for trusting me to be somebody who you would like to associate with your company. I am grateful and I am so happy that I am able to show you guys, my subscribers and my followers, what I have loved about Lancome for, I don't know, since I was a kid. Since, well, since I, since I re realized that I wasn't a boy anymore, I just, I'm happy. The next video that is gonna be up here is gonna be using Lancome's foundations and their concealers. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve a flawless face for beginners, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And one more thing, if you're from the DMV area, as in DC, Maryland, and Virginia, or you're from the surrounding areas like Pennsylvania, New York, and things like that, comment down below and let me know that you're in my vicinity because I have something coming up. I have something planned for you all and you're gonna wanna know about it. I am signing off. I will see you guys in the next video which should be up in a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. I am a happy chocolate little camper. Goodbye.